Welcome everyone, and this is part two of the TR250 trunk floor. We'll see how far we get along today. As with the floor pans, I'm taking a red scratch bright pad and sending all the nooks and crannies while it's out here in the open. After it gets all welded in and I sandblast the welded areas, it'll be already prepped for the epoxy primer. Coming up, I had had Tim cut out the trunk floor, the old one, and uh, he did a real fine job of drilling out the spot welds and delicately taking off the uh, old floor pinch weld area. But as the more I thought about it, this area I can reach with my spot welder. And if I weld it up with the plug welds, I'll have to grind that down inside that channel. So I'm going to use the little aluminum block that I had discussed earlier. I'm going to fill all those holes from the back side because it's a lot easier to grind the back side than will be in that channel. I'll have to do some grinding in the channel but not very much. It won't be all piled up. Filling a hole generally leaves a fairly high amount of weld on one side. And as it turned out, this wasn't a bad idea. It only took me less than 10 minutes to get all the holes filled up. difficult I had as you'll see coming up with my little tiny aluminum block got pretty hot so I had to do a little leather glove waving to cool the thing off a little bit so I could hang on to it And this is the side with the aluminum block. Looks like I pan kind of quickly there, but as you can see, the welds are not stuck out very much. Made a second pass with the camera here with a little more light. This is the back side that I'll be grinding down. If you're wondering what the masking tape is for, those are two holes that are supposed to be there for the rear trunk latch. When I put the rear body panel on my brother's car, I just welded everything up. <laughs> and I had to find them and drill them back out, so I remembered on this one. It 
all dressed down. A little bit of primer, maybe a little bit of seam sealer, and it'll be fine. Everything's nice and straight, ready for the spot welder. Same process on the inside. I sped it up, no sense of having to watch that at normal speed. Once the area was ground down, I just am um, epoxy priming this area that will be behind the trunk floor and I won't be able to get in and spray anything, either paint or protectant, not very much anyway. I can shoot some up in there, but I can't get all the way up to the lip. So I'll put some brushing on some epoxy primer, should give it a nice layer of protection, and of course I'll you well through primer on the lip that I'm going to spot weld. And I went ahead and brushed the primer on the trunk floor itself. That is also in that no man's land. Well, that's it for part two. Part three will be drilling some plug weld holes, fitting it. And if everything fits, we'll get her welded in. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.